Rise of Preneurs. In the journey of entrepreneurship, you always earn something. Sometimes it's money and sometimes it's experience. Rise of Preneur aims at taking you through the entrepreneurial journey. Player starts out as a college student having an idea and experiences different phases of entrepreneurial journey. This board game is designed to make you play your game your way. Board game has four cycles other than the main cycle, that is team building, where player builds his team. Prototype development is a cycle where the idea is turned into the product. Investment cycle is a place where player can raise funds. Sales cycle is a place where player can actually sell the product and make money through it. To start the game, every player is distributed 1.5 likes, 1 utility card and 3 strategic cards. The dice for this game is specially designed which has maximum value of 3 so that player has more discoveries as he plays the game. Every block in this game has different happenings which most of the entrepreneur goes through just like paying college fees, missing a turn to attend a networking event and he has also a chance to get an experience card. The game gives player flexibility to enter any cycle at any point of time. For example, player A gets into team building where he gets a chance to hire an employee and use it to move faster in the game. Here, player A has a power to hire or reject the employee based on the skill set and player's requirements. In the same time, player B gets into prototype development cycle and starts developing the product where he faces great market reviews, cash burnouts and happening as was as an employee leaving his company. To enter into any of this cycle, player has to submit one utility card. Here, every player has an option to choose between a degree and a dropout zone. Player A goes for a degree zone, where he might have to miss a turn due to exams. In the same time, he also gets a chance to learn and earn by a startup internship. On the other side, player B opts for the dropout zone, where he might incur heavy expenses as well as may get an investor card at an early stage. Player A hires two employees and sends them to move into prototype development and investment cycle. But to get into an investment cycle, player has to submit one investor's card. Here player has a chance to get funded with the use of pitch cards. Pitch cards are the token which will decide how much funding a player can raise while pitching. 2 lakhs, 50,000 or even nothing. Once the prototype cycle is completed, the player is eligible to get into sales cycle by submitting one utility card. Now, player can start the sales with at least 10 units worth 1 lakh. Here, player has a chance to earn profits as well as losses of various forms and might even lose products during the journey. The player has a power to produce products any point of time during the journey. No matter what path you choose, you end up on a junction which leads to a common journey. Only after the completion of sales cycle, the player can move ahead of this junction. In between of this game, player might face total cash burnouts. In that case, player can get cash by issuing a promissory note from the bank. Winning this game is not as easy as it seems. This game is highly dependent on your as well as other players strategies. Here, each player has a power to change his or other players games by using strategy card which includes veto, dodge, reverse turn and others. An enterprise may fail but an entrepreneur never fails because experiences he gains during the journey stays with him forever. The criteria to win this game includes 4 experience card, 1 employee and 5 lakh cash. Learning entrepreneurship is a never ending process. Thus, the more you face, the more you explore.